And there you go. 10 powerful run command hacks that can make navigating Windows much easier and more efficient. Test them out and let me know which ones you found the most useful. If you have any other favorite run commands, share them. Share them in the comments below. In Windows, you can access detailed system information quickly by using the msinfo32 command. This command launches the system information application, which provides comprehensive details about your system's hardware, software, and drivers. Here's how to use it. 1. Open the Run dialog box. Press the Windows key R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. 2. Type the command. In the Run dialog box, type msinfo32 and then press Enter or click OK. Number 3. Explore system information. The system information window will open, displaying categories like system summary, hardware resources, components, and software environment. Click on any category to expand it and view detailed information about your system's components, such as the processor, RAM, system model, operating system version, and more. Using MSINFO32 is particularly useful for troubleshooting as it allows you to quickly gather necessary system details or verify hardware and software configurations. Let's see one by one. So this is the detail of your hardware. Now you see components. In this component, multimedia, CD-ROM, sound device, display, infrared input, modem, network. Just you click on the display, it will show the information about that display in right hand. Then storage, drivers, IDE, USB, printing, problem, de uh, problem devices. Just click and it will show the detailed information about that system drivers, how many drivers you installed and which you are using, uh, which application is using name, all these things. Startup programs, all the startup program lists are there <coughs> and their path, which username is running this one and its location in uh, registry data. See, you can uh, minimize or maximize the part, uh, the, the column of that. Uh, portion. Windows are reporting, network components, even you can find out what you want to find out. If, if you know the uh, name of that one particular, then you can type in find what. Simply, it will show you what you, what you want to find. Let's see, I'll show you. I'm just writing down here. Scroll down the category, hardware. Hardware RAM, searching in hardware, RAM, find, let me show the RAM, see there, install physical memory, 8.0 GB, this is the RAM, whatever you want to do search, directly you can search hard disk, or SSD, OS, operating system, etc, etc, whatever you want to search, just simply type there OS and how many times OS is coming find 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 next find next find next it will display the it means system information for example conflict sharing directly access disk cleanup in Windows using the clean mgiger command follow these steps one open the run dialog box press the Windows key R on your keyboard to open the run dialog box two type the command in the Run dialog box, type Clean MGear and then press Enter or click OK. 3. Select the drive to clean. After executing the command, the disk cleanup utility will open, prompting you to select the drive you want to clean up. Typically, this will be your system drive, usually C. 4. Analyze disk space. Once you've selected the drive, disk cleanup will analyze the drive's contents and calculate how much space you can free up. 5. Choose Cleanup Options. After analysis, Disk Cleanup will present you with a list of files that you can safely delete to free up space. You can select or deselect specific file categories according to your preference. 6. Initiate Cleanup. Once you've selected the file categories you want to clean up, click on the OK button to start the cleanup process. Disk Cleanup will then delete the selected files, freeing up disk space on your system drive. Using the clean MGR command is a quick and convenient way to perform disk cleanup without navigating through multiple menus. It helps you reclaim valuable disk space by removing unnecessary files, temporary files, and system files that are no longer needed. More options.
program and features you can free more disk space by removing programs that you do not use clean up button it will show your programs whatever program you installed in if you want to install the program just click the program and press the uninstall it will install your uh, installed program next system restores and shadow copies you can free more space by removing but all but the more recent restore point clean up press the delete button it will uh, it will delete the recent restore point if you want then click the delete button disk clean up simply press the ok button delete the files are you sure you want to delete permanently these files yes and it takes a lots of time so be patient just to cool and calm whatever you want to do the other works you can do that i make this video by cutting this portions on some intervals because it takes a lots of times according to your this what are the temporary files are stored on on this how many times you are doing this utilities using this utility that depends the time to clearing your disk clean so the disk clean your clean utility is cleaning up unnecessary files on your machines clean up drive what drive you selected that drive is there windows c i selected a c drive and cleaning windows update clean up it will showing the message what it what is going to be clean from your system so windows updates clean up 2 gb more than more than 2 gb are here on my hard disk it takes a lot of times more than 5 to 10 minutes i cut down that video in short spans so be careful just take cool calm don't do anything else while doing this task well and watch and this kind of utilities you have to make for the completion if you cancel from here then these files not deleted from your hard drive there is no choice you have to wait for that right it's completed right now Permanently deleted. Clean up our hard disk, our C drive. Whatever drive you selected, the drive will be clear or clean. Or to directly launch the task manager in Windows using the task mgr command, here's what you need to do. One, open the run dialog box. Press the Windows key R on your keyboard to open the run dialog box. Two, type the command. In the run dialog box, type task mgr and then press Enter or click OK. 3. Task Manager opens. After executing the command, the Task Manager utility will open immediately, displaying information about running applications, processes, performance metrics, and more. 4. Explore Task Manager. Within Task Manager, you can navigate through different tabs such as Processes, Performance, App History, Startup, and more. These tabs provide valuable insights into the performance and resource usage of your system. 5 manage applications and processes from the processes tab you can manage running applications and background processes you can end tasks create process dumps or analyze resource usage to troubleshoot performance issues 6 monitor performance the performance tab allows you to monitor cpu memory disk and network usage in real time helping you identify any bottlenecks or resource intensive tasks Using the task mgr command is a quick and efficient way to access the task manager without having to navigate through menus or use keyboard shortcuts like control shift s or control alt d. Uh it's a handy tool for managing and troubleshooting system performance on Windows. Startup these are the startup uh, program which we can start while your Windows is started. Name initial status What is the status of this one? Enable means when your window will start, this program will only start. User in this section, what is the user login and how many programs it's running? Left side the user's programs and how many memory, CPU memory, memory disk usage in percentage. So you can directly stop those programs if those are using 
maximum memory. Next details, details of that program and their processing ID and their stored services, which services are running, which services you want to stop from here, you can directly press right mouse button and press stop. See status, it's a stop. If unnecessary uh, services are running, you can directly stop from here. Right? Processes, number of processes are there, press right mouse button and end task. For example, see here, whichever they are using the memory, maximum memory, for example, renewal end task. I end this task by running end task command directly. Some services are there, which are necessary for Windows, so you cannot end them. For example, Microsoft Edge, I am ending here, right mouse button pressing and uh, pressing the end task. So, task managers are very useful for managing tasks. You can run new tasks from here. Uh, find new, new tasks. Options, always stops, send defaults, view, collapse, etc. etc. To navigate directly to Device Manager in Windows using the devmgmt.msc command, follow these steps. 1. Open the Run dialog box. Press the Windows key R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. 2. Type the command. In the Run dialog box, type devmgmt.msc and then press Enter or click OK. 3. Device Manager opens. After executing the command, the Device Manager window will open, displaying a list of all the hardware devices connected to your computer. 4. Explore Device Manager. Within Device Manager, you can view and manage hardware devices such as network adapters, graphics cards, disk drives, USB controllers, and more. Expand categories to view individual devices, and you can update drivers, disable devices, uninstall devices, or troubleshoot hardware issues. Using the devmg.msc command is a quick and convenient way to access Device Manager without navigating through Control Panel or other menus. It provides direct access to hardware management tools, allowing you to efficiently manage and troubleshoot hardware devices on your Windows system. And device manager, list of the all devices. Click any, any category, file, option, file, action, scan for hardware, changes, scanning, plug and play. See here. Action, add legacy hardware. Next, search for and install the hardware automatically. Next, next, select the hardware and next and finish this dialog box. Right? Second, action, add legacy hardware. Devices in printer. It will show how many hardware devices are connected to your PC. These are the hardware devices, multimedia devices printer etc. Action, add legacy hardware. Next, install the hardware that I manually select from the list. Next, this is the list. Select the, if you want to install the camera, then camera, imaging DSS, scanner, modems, ports, whatever DSS, Android DSS etc. etc. Select that device and press next button. It asks for the driver. If you have a software in a DVD, pen drive etc. Then select that path from browse this option and click next click next and finish this dialog box it will install the your particular hardware so you can manage your devices from your device manager to check network connections and manage network adapters in windows using the ncpa.cpl command here's what you need to do one Open the Run dialog box. Press the Windows key R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. 2. Type the command. In the Run dialog box, type ncpa.cpl and then press Enter or click OK. 3. Network Connections window opens. After executing the command, the Network Connections window will open, displaying all network adapters and connections available on your computer. 4. View and Manage Network Adapters. Within the Network Connections window, you can see all network adapters including Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and VPN connections. Right-click on any network adapter to access options such as Enable, Disable, Status, Properties, and more. 5. Change Network Adapter Properties 
To view or change the properties of a network adapter, right-click on the adapter and select Properties. Here, you can configure settings such as IP address, DNS server, network protocols, and more. Using the ncpa.cpl command provides a quick and direct way to access network connections and manage network adapters in Windows. It's a convenient tool for troubleshooting network issues, configuring network settings, and managing network connections efficiently. And use LPS. And it will be detecting the problems when finding the problem. Apply this fix and it will fix according to whatever the issues comes collecting information it is. Resolving the problem, check to see details. Verifying that the wired network adapter's problem is resolved. An authority cable is not properly plugged in or might be broken. The diagnosis process policy service is disabled. Close the troubleshoot, rise mode, press right mouse button, disable, enable, whatever you want to do. Make all the operations for these network connections. Whatever the network connections are available, it will list it here. For example, Ethernet, that network cable, Wi Fi, this is the wireless network, wireless network cable. So you can make enable, disable, install, uh, device drivers, sharing, etc. So you can perform all operations from here. Even you can go through, go to control panel, then control panel, network and internet. And network internet, all the options are available from control panel for setting. These two networks are using wired and wireless. Change the adapter setting, and the adapter setting it will show you the list of your network adapters. You can perform all operations, whatever we said in this video. Disable this connection, enable this connection, properly install the drivers, etc. So, diagnose. You can also diagnose this one, right? So you, you can make changes to a network from here. To open system configuration in Windows using the msconfig command, follow these steps. 1. Open the Run dialog box. Press the Windows key R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. 2. Type the command. In the Run dialog box, type msconfig and then press Enter or click OK. 3. System configuration window opens. After executing the command, the system configuration utility window will open, providing access to various system configuration options. 4. Explore system configuration. Within the system configuration utility, you'll find several tabs including general, boot, services, startup, and tools. The general tab allows you to choose startup options, such as booting into safe mode or selecting a specific startup configuration. The Boot tab lets you configure advanced boot options, including boot order, timeout settings, and boot log options. The Services tab displays a list of services configured to start automatically with Windows. You can enable or disable individual services here. The Startup tab shows a list of startup programs and allows you to enable or disable them to improve system performance. The Tools tab provides quick access to various system utilities, such as Event Viewer, System Information, and Task Manager. Using the msconfig command is a quick and convenient way to access system configuration without navigating through Control Panel or other menus. It's a powerful tool for managing startup settings, troubleshooting startup issues, and configuring system settings on your Windows computer. Load system services, load startup items, apply. OK, it will ask for the start or exit without start. Whatever you choose and make your choice. To access Windows services in Windows using the services.msc command, follow these steps. 1. Open the Run dialog box. Press the Windows key R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. 2. Type the command. In the Run dialog box, type services.msc and then press Enter or click OK. 3. Services window opens. After executing the command, the services window will open, displaying a list of all the services installed on your Windows system. 4. Explore services. Within the services window, you can view the status, startup type, and description of each service. You can sort the services alphabetically or by status by clicking on the column headers. Right-click on any service to access options such as Start, Stop, Restart, Pause, Resume, and Properties. 5. Manage services. 
You can start, stop, or restart services as needed, depending on your system requirements tab. You can also change the startup type of services from automatic to manual or disabled, depending on whether you want the service to start automatically with Windows or not. Using the services.msc command provides a quick and a direct way to access and manage Windows services without navigating through control panel or other menus. It's a powerful tool for configuring and troubleshooting services on your Windows computer. To instantly open Resource Monitor in Windows using the resmon command, follow these steps. 1. Open the Run dialog box. Press the Windows key R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. 2. Type the command. In the Run dialog box, type resmon and then press Enter or click OK. 3. Resource Monitor opens. After executing the command, Resource Monitor will open instantly, providing real-time monitoring of system resources such as CPU, memory, disk, and network usage. 4. Explore Resource Monitor. Within Resource Monitor, you can navigate through different tabs to view detailed information about resource usage. The Overview tab provides a summary of resource usage, including graphs and statistics for CPU, memory, disk, and network activity. The CPU, memory, disk, and network tabs allow you to view detailed information about each resource category, including processes, services, and associated performance metrics. 5. Monitor resource usage. Resource Monitor allows you to identify resource-intensive processes, monitor system performance, and troubleshoot performance issues effectively. You can sort processes by various criteria such as CPU usage, memory usage, disk activity, and network activity to pinpoint performance bottlenecks. Using the Resmon command is a quick and efficient way to access Resource Monitor without navigating through menus or using keyboard shortcuts. It's a valuable tool for monitoring and optimizing system performance on your Windows computer. To open the Windows Registry Editor using the Regedit command, follow these steps. 1. Open the Run dialog box. Press the Windows key R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. 2. Type the command. In the Run dialog box, Type Regedit and then press Enter or click OK. 3. Registry Editor opens. After executing the command, the Registry Editor will open, providing access to the Windows Registry. 4. Explore the Registry Editor. Within the Registry Editor, you'll see a hierarchical structure of keys and values that store configuration settings and other information for Windows and installed applications. The left pane of the Registry Editor displays the registry keys organized into a tree structure, while the right pane shows the values and data associated with the selected key. You can navigate through the registry keys to find specific settings or configurations, and you can modify or delete registry values as needed. Caution! Editing the registry can have serious consequences if done incorrectly. It's recommended to back up the registry or create a system restore point before making any changes. Using the regedit command provides a quick and direct way to access and edit the Windows registry without navigating through menus. However, it's essential to exercise caution when making changes to the registry to avoid causing system instability or other issues. Move AI, Video Suit, Microsoft, and in this section, Cellular, SMS, Router, and you can change the ratio. One session is there. You do not change anything else if you do not know what is registry Everyone and what is the matter. Ever needed to use special characters but didn't didn't know how to access them? Let me show you a quick trick. Just press Windows key R to open the run dialog. Now type Charmap and hit enter. Showing the run dialog box with Charmap typed in. Then the character map Charmap application opens up. Charmap will open, giving you access to a wide range of characters and symbols. Select the symbol you want, then click on Select and Copy. Demonstrating the process of selecting a symbol, clicking on Select, and then Copy. Whatever symbol you want to select, just click on that. It's a pi, hash, theta, summation, theta, these are the uh, Special symbol F 
financial symbol just select whatever the symbol you want to just select theta and copy and paste into the your document it will show your character code rc codes are here now open microsoft word or any other text editor and paste the symbol using control v voila you've just added a special character to your document um, showing the symbol pasted into Microsoft Word. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to access special characters and symbols using Charmap. See here, we have Bing 2, we have Bing 1, we have 3, 3 are there, and it has a lot of symbols, cross symbol, finger symbol, a different symbol. You just want to move on that one, for example, one with black circle, select it and copy and paste into your editor. For example, I am using right now Microsoft Word. So I am pasting in the Microsoft Word. And do whatever with that. For example, I select that symbol and change the font size. And it will make a huge symbol in your document. Whatever. But just select the font. Webding, Webding 1, Webding 2. And it shows you different, different character map symbols. You can enter in your, in your document or into editor or into, into whatever wherever you want to or show this one this symbol simple process is character map select the font select the symbol copy that symbol and paste it to the wherever you want it and it also show the character code if you want to display in the characters code so ASCII character codes or any other codes these codes can be displayed directly to the editor or to the browser or to the anywhere. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. End screen with subscribe button and video suggestion.